Bonjour. The purpose of this video is to explore how we can apply operations to make changes in all values in an array. In the process, we'll distinguish between two categories, matrix operations and array operations. A matrix operation refers to a formal mathematical step. You will study these in detail in a linear algebra course. An array operation could also be called an element-by-element -element operation. We will primarily be using these in this course. When doing addition or subtraction, there is no distinction between the two categories. However, for multiplication, division, and exponentiation, there is a difference. When these operations are written without a period or a dot, then MATLAB performs the formal matrix version. When these operations are written with a dot, then MATLAB performs the element-by-element -element version. Let's look at examples of addition first. There is no distinction here between matrix and array operation, so both would give the results you see. And because of this, you will never need to put a dot before a plus or a minus sign in MATLAB. If adding a matrix to a matrix, the sizes must match, and each element is added to its corresponding element. In this example, the top left corners show us 1 plus 1 equals 2. The bottom left corners show us 0 plus 3 is equal 3. And the same process works for the other indices. If adding a matrix to a scalar, the scalar is applied across all indices in the matrix. So here, we see that the output matrix matches the size of the input matrix. And each element of the output matrix is 6 more than the corresponding elements of the input matrix. Top left to top left, top right to top right, and so on. Let's now look at formal matrix multiplication to illustrate the difference between it and element-by-element -element multiplication. The mathematical definition of matrix multiplication is shown here. The example at the bottom shows what this means. Each element in the output matrix C is computed as the dot product of specific rows in A and columns of B. For example, the value in row 2, column 2 of C comes from the dot product of the two highlighted vectors, 4 times 6, plus 5 times 8, plus 6 times 10. A similar process was used to fill in the other elements of C. Don't worry about the details of this process for now. The key thing to notice is that formal matrix multiplication is not the same thing as array or element-by-element -element multiplication. Here we see an example of array multiplication. To work, the arrays, either vectors or matrices, must be of the same size. Let's look at the top left corners. 1 times 1 gives us 1. And for the bottom right corners, 6 times 3 gives an output of 18. The same pattern holds for all the other indices. Also, the overall process is used for array division or array exponentiation. Just remember to include the dot before the operator. In summary, when in doubt, use the dot. Matrix multiplication is powerful for certain applications, such as solving a system of equations. But most often, in this course, we will do array or element-by-element -element operations. When you need to do matrix multiplication, you will know it. Remember that a dot never goes in front of a plus or a minus sign. Also, there is no difference between matrix and array operations if a scalar is involved. It won't hurt to include the dot, but it won't help either. So, get in the habit of typing that dot before multiply, divide, or exponent.